Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we're making a winter fairy door. I love these for January after the holidays. It's just a fun decoration to put out. Let's grab some supplies and get started. The first thing you'll need is a basic wood shape or base for your fairy door. So really any square or rectangle will work. These were a little four pack of wooden shapes that I found at my craft store. Um, it was just a couple dollars for four of them. And so just make sure that you have one. These measure about two and a half by three and a half inches. Then you'll need some acrylic craft paint. I'll be using a light turquoisey blue color and then this really pretty pearl white finish. Using this over the blue gave it an icy and frosted look that I really liked for this door. You will need a little foam paintbrush and then I have my trusty glue gun set on low. And then you'll need an assortment of embellishments, something for a handle, I'll be putting some little grommets on my door, and then also I've got these sparkly and pretty rhinestones that look kind of icy and fun for winter. You'll find that the craft book section of any craft store has a lot of really great embellishments for fairy doors. Um, I also found these really pretty snowflakes that actually inspired this fairy door. Okay, first step is to paint your door. So I'm going to take my blue and put a nice even layer of the paint all over the door, on the front and on the back. And then I went over and added one more coat because I wanted it to be nice and, and covered. And once that's dry, I'm going to take my pearl white metallic paint and I'm just going to put a little over the door. I don't want it to completely cover up the blue. I just want it to give a very frosted look to the door. So I just put a little bit on and lightly brushing it with my little foam brush. You can see it looks like frost and kind of just icy and pretty and very wintry. And then once my door has completely dried, it's time to decorate it. So here's an example of one of the doors I did with, this is just a little metal embellishment, scrapbook embellishment. Um, I found these little swirly pieces that I thought made a really fun handle and I've got some up in the corner of that door there. And then I love these little scrapbook stickers. They had a little sticker on the back of them and it was just a really sparkly rhinestone. So I'm going to be using this as like a little window at the top of my door. And I'm also using one as a handle. Another great easy handle for any furry door would be a thumbtack and you just cut the little sharp part of the thumbtack off the back. And then I decided to add a few of the little metal pieces across the bottom just for decoration and a few down the side as hinges for my door. And honestly, you can decorate your little fairy door as simple or as complex as you like. That's what makes these fun is they're all very unique. And that's it guys, you're all set. I love winter decorations that I can put out after the holidays, something just fun and sparkly. And this matches the icy snowy cold weather that we have outside. Mine will be going in my living room. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do and check out some of my other tutorials. Here is a really great tutorial I did for indoor snowballs. So check that out and we'll see you next time.